you could pick up the Navy Federal More Rewards card, which gives you what? Three exit supermarkets, mm. gas, restaurants, and on transit, right? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. when I say transit, they mean everything. They even you even you even get three X points on tolls at yeah. when you park somewhere. When you compare those two cars, it would just make more sense to get the more rewards car right. because it gives it gives you better benefits. And they're both no annual fee cars. That's the right. only benefit that the Go Rewards has over the more rewards. I know people, they're excited about Navy Federal. They're always excited about, you know, uh, taking advantage of, you know, the account uh, options that they have. And, of yeah. course, the perks, the cards and things of that sort. But what I don't think people understand clearly is, like, the cards that matter or, or what or I would say what levels they are. If right. you wouldn't mind breaking down to us uh, the Navy Federal, uh, essentially the card tier list, because I want to make sure people understand what these cards are. Oh, and, and you don't necessarily have to go down to each of, um, you know, the perks of them, but more so right. your opinion on why it is where it's at on the tier list. Would you mind doing that? Yeah, absolutely. Now, the thing with Navy Federal card, Navy, Navy Federal don't have any bad cards, right? And all all credit cards, I tell everybody, they're yeah. all situational. Mm. You know, every car is not great for everybody. And every, you know, some car that you might think are good or bad mm -hmm. may fit someone else different. Mm -hmm. So... I said that to say, I'm, I'm going to just get into it. Um, the first card, of course, is their secure card, the end rewards. If you're working on your credit, you know, rebuilding credit, the end rewards is just, it's just a good way to start. Yeah. You know, <laughs> any, it, I could say any secured card, but, but getting a secured card with a credit union, and we know that Navy Federal is a financially sound credit union. That's right. Largest federal credit union in the nation. Mm -hmm. So the end rewards card is a, definitely a, a good way to start rebuilding your credit or just getting into, you know, if you just want to get into credit from the beginning, you know, if, if you were a little bit nervous about where your score is and things like that. Yeah. Get in there with that card, start building a relationship with Navy Federal. And that's pretty much it's, it's a simple card, you know. Yeah. OK. From there, you got the platinum. The platinum is your balance transfer card. Uh, within the first um, 60 days of being approved for that card, you can transfer a balance from another credit card over to the, over to there, and uh, the interest rate is 0.99%. Mm. Now, there are other credit card companies, you know, that that's going to offer you a 0% interest rate. Exactly. So it's not the best thing on the market, but zero. But we're talking about 1%. Mm. <laughs> I mean, like. He's talking about one percent. It's still it's still a great balance transfer card. Yeah, yeah, it's still a great balance transfer card. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, uh, and 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 you know another thing too. I don't think people really maximize the balance no, transfers, especially in a time don't. like right now. Man, they just don't. They don't. <laughs> like, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I had yeah. um, I had to buy something for my little side business. Okay, and it was uh seven. It was seven thousand dollars. Woo, that's some side uh, business. <laughs> I could, I could have just purchased it, right? Yeah, outright. But what I did was, I purchased it on one of my business cards. Smart, right? Got yeah. the got the points for doing that. Yeah, and then I transferred it over to a balance transfer card, mm. so I can pay that. <laughs> so I can pay it over time. What I did was, I took the the money that I would have used to pay it. Yeah. Put it put that in a I put it in a 12 month CD. Mm, that 12 month CD was earning a five percent interest. Yeah. So by the time it was time for me to pay that off, mm. I just took the money from there. But I had the opportunity to pay it off time over time because you know, having seven thousand dollars in your bank account is better than not having it in there. Man, you know listen <laughs> <laughs> for real. If you're looking to improve your credit score qualify for homeownership, or even lower your monthly car payment, we most definitely can help you get in position. What we can do is take a look at your current credit report and then create a custom game plan. And we can help you like we've helped all the rest of these people that you're seeing right in front of you. <laughs> and at the same time, I had that money locked in that CD, so it wasn't like I could blow it. Exactly. You know, wow. Without any penalty. So yeah. you got to be smart with those balance transfer cards. And one thing a lot of people fail to realize What's that? is if you have to pay those things off before the, the promotional 
Time is over. You show better. <laughs> <laughs> you better pay them all. Or they're going to hit you with yeah. all of that interest. Yeah, <laughs> so, right. And, and you know what? At the end of the day, they hope you make that mistake. <laughs> they hope you make that mistake. They hope you make that mistake. That's why they give you the opportunity to do it. Yeah. But if you do use these cars, please just make sure that you're keeping track of the time that you had That's it. Right. Whether it's 12, 24, 21 months, just keep track of that time. Got you. Got you. And I did want to I did want to pause real quick as you continue to the, the tier list. Just so we're clear, you have these cards, right? You ain't got to show us uh, show us all the cards. But, you know, do you have that? Do you have that wallet with you? That, that, yeah, that yeah, crazy yeah, wallet? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even reach it, man. It's behind me back here. Oh, okay. <laughs> right now, I have, um, I'm have i sitting at 35. Yeah, I probably okay. had over. I've had somewhere 50 to 60 credit cards. You know what gotcha. I mean? I close some over time, yeah. get new ones over time. But right now, I'm sitting on 35. That's what's up. That's what's up. You've been, you know, that's been the kind of your number that you kind of been sticking with, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere, okay. somewhere around there. That's what's hey, up. I'm, I'm actually about to pick up a, a, a kind of high annual fee card, so I'm, I might have to drop some of my lower annual fee yeah. card before I pick that one up. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. man. Absolutely. All right. So then, what's the next card in in uh, in that order? I would probably say the gold rewards. The gold okay. rewards is if I'm gonna say it's the if I'm gonna say maybe Federal has the worst card, it's probably the gold rewards. Gotcha. Okay. You no, know like it's not a bad card, yeah, but it's probably their worst card because, mm, and the right. only reason is because they have a similar card that all these both cards have no annual fee, but it gives you better multipliers, meaning that you gain more points. Gotcha. The Go okay. Rewards basically gives you three points per dollar at restaurants, yeah, two points per dollar on gas, and one point per dollar on, on everything else. Mm. And you could you could you could pick up the Navy Federal More Rewards card. Which gives you what? Three X at supermarkets, mm. gas, restaurants, and on transit, right? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. when I say transit, they mean everything. They even you even you even get three X points on tolls at yeah. when you park somewhere, like anywhere. So when you compare those two cars, it would just make more sense to get the more rewards car right. because it gives it gives you better benefits, and they're both no annual fee cars. That's the right. only benefit that the Go Rewards has over the More Rewards could be if you're traveling international and the, the More Rewards is an American Express card. And we all know that sometimes you American Express don't work for international. You know right. I mean? Yeah, so, for real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason I would pick those over. And I actually had I actually had the Go Reward. Is that yeah. one of those cards that I canceled? <laughs> I was just going to say that, man. You know, I've been noticing a trend about that as well, too, is that a lot of people, including, I believe, um, Joe Bretto, he had mentioned that as well, too. A lot of people have been getting rid of that particular card. What made you, what was the ultimate decision that made you want to cancel that card? Okay. See, when I got the card, it, it, my thinking was traveling international. I had the more rewards. I had this card. Yeah. But then, I, but then when it came down to it, I'm like, I have so many cars. It doesn't really matter, you know what I'm saying? With gotcha, this one, yeah. and I wanted the um, the cash rewards. Mm. But with Navy Federal, you can only have hold three cars, mm. right? You can only hold three cars. So okay. in order for me to get the cash rewards, I would have to cancel the, the go rewards. Got you. So wait, hold on. Let, let's back up. So now they have a limit on how many you can get. Is what you're saying? Personal yes. cars. Got yes. you. Wow. You're gonna okay. have three. You only have three. Um, three personal cards. I mean, you can also have a go biz business card. Yeah. Which I, all, I also have that card. Yeah. But that that doesn't count, of course, because it's a business card. But right, you're gonna exactly. have three personal wow. Navy Federal cards. Wow. Okay, yeah. that's good to know. That's good to and know. I, and I hate and I hate to throw this one out there. It didn't even work out for me, man. I never even got the cash rewards card. <laughs> <laughs> I never even got it. <laughs> but that's the next card on the list, though. Yeah. Like the cash rewards will be the next card on the list. It's a simple card 1.75% yeah. cash back on everything. Wow. You know what I mean, like, yeah. if you that person that want to have one card. Yeah. That's the one. That, right. If you want to be with a credit union. Yeah. If you know, there, there are cards that offer 2% cash back. There are, there are a lot of them. But if you want to be with, with the Navy Federal Credit Union, you know, and reap the benefits of the credit union, low yeah. low interest rates and things like that. It's it's a solid card. You know what I mean? Like I say, I don't want to run up everything. And, yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a solid card. We yeah. talked about the more rewards, which would have been the next card on the list. That's right. And I would say the top two cards the Navy Federal have would be the more rewards and the flagship. 
Now we talked about the more rewards already, but the flagship, I mean, it's also a simple car. Three, you get three points per dollar on travel. And like I say, with Navy Federal, their their travel isn't like it's not just like hotels and mm. and airlines. You know what yeah, I mean? Like exactly. it's all travel. <laughs> like it's all travel. So anything that you purchase that's travel, you get three points per dollar, and then you get two two points per dollar on everything else. Wow. Gotcha. And, but wow. for me, what makes yeah. it number one okay. is that every year that I've had that card is paid for my Amazon Prime membership. You that's did say that. $139 yeah. every year, you know? Yeah, that's worth it by itself. That's worth it by itself. Yeah. If you're somebody that travel and you want to, you know, you need global entry, TSA yeah. pre-check, that right. saves you a hundred bucks right there too. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's what's yeah. up, man. Now, you know what, man? What I like about you, Sledge, is that not only do you tell us about things after you have actually experienced them on your own but you're always looking for ways uh to make for, for it to make sense you're not just getting credit cards just to say you have them you know it's it has to make sense for you and like you said that your lifestyle and you know but like things you know i feel like especially like things like global entry is one of those things that you don't think about or the average person that may not necessarily travel that much until <laughs> you start traveling, you know, internationally or things like that. So you're like, man, I'm waiting this long line. Let me go and skip this line, you know, and or whatever the case is. It's a way easier process for sure. And, I, and I've seen a lot of credit card companies in general start to step up, especially like with clear benefits and things of that sort, too. So that's Listen, what's up. If you, if, if, if you don't have clear or you got at least have TSA pre-check. <laughs> yeah. You, some. Travel, you at least got to have it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I would say both, but yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.